Hello guys, Hugo here, hope you're well. Welcome back to another P3D video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to edit the AFCAD of a certain airport um, so you don't have default buildings or taxiways or anything default bleeding through your add-on scenery. This is San Francisco um, by Flightbeam, I believe it's their version 3 scenery. Uh, it even says it's V5 compatible, yet I still have <laughs> default buildings coming through their scenery. So today I'm going to be showing you how to get rid of these default buildings coming through your add-on scenery. You could also have taxi signs coming through um, when they aren't supposed to be there. Sometimes you even get effects or jetways or, or anything really. I'm going to be showing you how to get rid of all of that and uh, let's get straight into it. Okay, welcome to my Microsoft Edge. Uh, this is the Scruffy Doc software website. They make this tool called Airport Design Editor. This is the tool that we're going to be using to edit our AFCAD, as it says there, so we can get P3D V5 um, buildings gone when you have add-on scenery. You want to go to the Shop and Downloads page. Uh, there is a current production version. This, uh, I don't think this is V5. Actually, yeah, it is not because it says released in December 24th, 2019. Scroll down to the development version. This is the current development version of 1.79 and it supports the newly released P3D V5. You want to go and download this one. Just click Get and it will take you to download. Well, it'll just download it itself. Okay, so this is it unzipped. Um, just put it into whatever folder you've made. I've added a folder called uh, Scruffy Duck Software within Program Files 86. Just I'm going to extract the install into there and run the install as administrator because I always like running things as administrator. Just go through all of the uh, everything it says. Uh, there is a default um, path. You can change that to whatever you want. As I've said, I've made my own path in Program Files. So I'm going to take that and copy it in like so, and uh, for Design Editor, I'm going to get rid of that and just add Dev, because this is the Dev version. Uh, click Next, and it will install. And there you go, that's installing now. And once it's installed, we'll go and open it up. Okay, so here it is, installed. Just open up the folder. You can see it says P3D V5 and V4 in there, and FS6 and FS9. Uh, just go to this main thing, Airport Design Editor. Just run that as administrator and uh, choose FS version. I've got FSX V4 and V5 installed, but obviously we want to go to edit V5, so we click that and OK. It'll start loading up some stuff, just give it some time, and it'll come up with this new user wizard screen. So if you click Next, and this can be set to whatever you want initials. Um, let's say TFS for the flight simmer. These can be left on default. So this folder should be uh, automatically grabbed and correct. These folders you need to go and set yourself. So the flight sim folder is just wherever your flight sim engine is installed. For me, it's in the flight sim prepared v5, and I'll select that folder. And then these two um, folders are probably not what you might not have downloaded. This is from the SDK. You need to go and download the SDK from the Prepared Downloads website. I will link it down below. It's the same link as uh, where you would download P3D V5, um, but you just scroll down on the downloads page and you find the SDK download. Download and install the SDK, and then once you open opened up, we'll come up with this. You want to go and find a, a file called shp 2 fec compiler um, this is a folder, this is not the file format, uh, well, format, but this is not the actual file you're trying to find. So I'm going to open up this again and go to that SDK and just search that. So SHP. And um, that's probably all I need actually. And there you go. If I just go open file location, it's, it's in the world and terrain. So we go to world, terrain, like so, select folder. And then BGL comp. Um, I believe, is it actually in just the main SDK folder? It is not. So once again, we need to go and find that. So BGL comp, um, and it is in the world scenery. Okay, so we go to world scenery and set that folder. And then you click next. And then this is all preference as well. Literally, 
it doesn't actually matter for what we're going to be doing today but if you want to design your own airport then set this to whatever you want to do but that's all fine for me and uh, this should also just be uh, correct automatically okay so you'll be presented with a blank screen like this just go to file and then open airport from bgl so once again it comes up with this i'm just going to go and head to my add-ons folder uh, for uh, flight beam, I don't know why I've opened up the wrong thing, it's in here, and it's uh, San Francisco, which is here, flight beam scenery, and then you want to find the AFCAD. If you know what an AFCAD looks like, sometimes you might not understand what an AFCAD is, it's kind of hard to tell. Flight beam made it hard to understand what it is, it is this KSFO HD. Sometimes a file might come with the same name and then underscore CAVX. If there is one like that, then the AFCAD is the one that doesn't say CVX. If it doesn't, you're going to have to find out which one it is by opening up. And if you open up the wrong one, then say it doesn't contain an AFCAD. So just keep searching until you find the right one. And let's just reset my thing here. So I need to go find San Francisco. And we'll open up San Francisco. And there we go. You do not need to edit the airport at all. As you can tell, you've got the runways, taxiways, and like stands and everything. If you go to lists and then exclusions, sometimes there's an exclusions already in here, but these exclusions have been compiled with the V4. Just click select all, and as long as there's an exclusion, an orange box that covers the airport already, then that's fine. If there's not, let's just delete this. If it's like this, um, then you just make it a new one and just do that and all ticked so it covers the whole airport and once that's done that's it just click compile and then ah so it actually has found some library objects this is a good thing that actually you might want to change you click no on this if you get that error do not worry go to lists and then library used if there's another thing so there is something in here um, then we know this has got an like, extra object that's been placed within ADE. Um, by the looks of things, I think it's Pappies. So go to Tools, and then go to Library Object Manager. And then you want to go to Add Folder, and once again, it's asking me to go back to the blooming San Francisco folder. Let's go all the way back to uh, San Francisco, and just select the scenery. Well, she, yeah, just select the scenery folder, select folder, and it's added them, well, we'll be adding them. It's going to add all of the model configs. Okay, it's just done. 24 files processed. As I was just waiting, I just realized I've made a typo and I haven't put the T in the software. Whatever. I've got this installed somewhere else, so that doesn't matter. So once it's done, click save. Then you go back to list and then go back to libraries use and it should. There you go. It should now actually have a name to it. So now you've got the libraries used and that's all good. Now go back to compile and there's no more errors. Untick this sync compile nine uh, with nine, did I say nine? Sync compile file name with project file name. There we go, got there in the end. Open the folder. Once again, it's gonna have to take me all the way back to San Francisco. So we'll go through here and we'll select San Francisco, flight beam, and scenery. So you want to replace this AFCAD. To make sure you haven't done anything wrong, rename this AFCAD to something else. I'm going to rename it to actually uh, add a dot .bgl, a default on the end of it. It will no longer become the BGL file, so it will just disappear for you. Uh, so you've got a default one, which if this goes wrong, you convert back to. And if it does go wrong, just contact me via Discord or, or via the uh, YouTube comment section. And it's got the file name in there, if you selected it before you renamed it. Just click save, and then click compile. It's found a CVX, if it has found a CVX file, that is okay, just click yes. And then airport compiled. So here we are, loaded up in the sim, the, the default building is gone. Go to all views, as I showed earlier, there's no, law, uh, no more default buildings. So that is how you get rid of default buildings and add on scenery within P3D. It's very simple to do, as you just saw, and it doesn't destroy your scenery from editing the FCAD. It's just the FCAD, and as you can tell, 
it is all wonderful scenery is working as it did before but just without the horrible disgusting default buildings so if you enjoyed this video please give this a thumbs up and share it around so other people can go and get their p3d v5 working as lovely as possible and if you haven't done so already please give a nice subscription to the channel thank you guys very much for watching i hope to see you in the next video and bye bye for now